Hello friends, my name is Miss Fletcher and I'm your art teacher. Welcome to my classroom where everyone's an artist and it's impossible to make a mistake. Today we're going to be learning all about how to use the watercolor pans that we got in our art kit. Let's go to the drawing board. Today all you're going to be needing is your watercolor pan, a pencil, a dish of water, and you need a piece of paper from the construction paper pack that you got in your art kit. Now let's go ahead and have a look and see what's here. So inside of the watercolor pan you're going to see lots of different colors. You're also going to find a paintbrush. Now you'll notice this paintbrush has a plastic tip. You're going to want to take it off and then very gently put it into the water and stir, stir, stir. This will soften the brushes. That's the first job when you open up your watercolor pan. Then you can set your brush down for a moment. Now you'll notice we have all of these different colors. If I go and rub my finger in them right now, you're going to see that I don't get any red on my finger at all because they are dry. And to activate it, I actually have to add water. So let's see what that looks like if I add water into my watercolor pan. So I dip into my water, I dip into my paints, and I'm going to start with my red paint. I dip, 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 and let's go ahead and paint a circle. And I get a nice bright red. I could dip in a little bit more if I wanted it to be even brighter. Look at that. Now it's important, instead of going right into my orange, I don't want to go into that house, that's the orange's house, and I have red on my brush. So I need to go over into my water, or my paint water, and I'm going to clean, 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 clean. Now my brush is nice and clean. Now I can go into my orange paint. I add in the water and I activate it. Now I can go ahead and paint an orange circle and see what that one looks like. Oh, what a beautiful color. Oh, no orange into my yellow. I need to clean, 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 clean. My brush is clean now. I can go into my yellow paint. And let's see what our yellow looks like. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm going to get a little bit more and make it a little bit brighter. Wow. Now, I don't want to take yellow into my green, so I'm going to clean, 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 clean. Now I can dip into my green paint and activate it. There's my green paint. Wow, it's beautiful. Now I'm going to, you guessed it, clean, 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 clean. I'll go into my blue paint. And I make a blue circle. Oh, look at that. Now I'm going to clean, clean, clean. Oh, this next one looks almost black. I wonder what it is. Let's find out. I put in my water and I activate it. Oh my goodness, it's purple. Hey, look, we have the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. These are the colors of the rainbow. Oh, hey, we still have two more colors to go. Let's get some water with our clean brush and we activate our brown. And we can make a brown circle. Now I'm going to clean, 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 clean. And let's see what happens with this last color. I'm going to activate it and it is black. Now it's important for me to clean, clean, clean. Now I think it might be fun to make a picture. Let's go ahead, we have our brush clean. We're gonna set it down. And let's go ahead and make some fish. So we're gonna start with a circle and on our circle let's add a triangle. It's already looking like a fish. I think our fish wants to see. Let's give it an eye. Now I like to make my eyes kind of fancy so I take and I put a rainbow on the top and a smile on the bottom. You could give it some fish lips 
You could use rectangle shapes to make some fins. And you could add a triangle shape for a fin on its side if you wanted. Now I think it would be nice if our fish had a friend. So let's make another circle. And we will add a triangle on the back. I think we need another eye. And I'm going to make a fancy eye again. I'm going to put a rainbow on the top and a smile on the bottom. We could make some fish lips. A rectangle fin, a rectangle fin, and a fin for swimming. Oh, it looks great. I think now we can go ahead and add some colors. So I think I want to make my fish orange. So I took my clean brush, I dipped in my orange paint, and I can go ahead and paint my fish orange. Oh, look at that. That looks great. And I'm going to clean, clean, clean. And I know my water is looking really dark right now, but it is okay. If you wanted to change it, you could. But you'll see, I can go into my yellow right now and no black went in there. The water is very diluted. I think I'm going to do yellow fins and yellow lips. There we go. And I want to do my next fish now. And I think I would like to make my next fish, hmm, I think blue would be a nice color for this fish. So I'm going to paint my fish in. And I might have to dip in a couple times to get enough paint. And I will paint my fish. Oh, and I think I would like to have some green fins. So I cleaned my brush in the water and now I am adding green fins. And green lips. Now I think it would be nice to have a green eye on this one too. And I think I will give this friend a green eye as well. And look, we have two painted fish. That was fun. I make sure I clean my brush. Now with my watercolor kit, I want to leave it open until my paint's completely dry, okay? And I can store my brush right inside. You don't need to worry about putting on this plastic tip again. You can just put that into your recycle bin, okay? I hope you enjoyed learning about our watercolor pans. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.